with the righty Mitch Keller on the mound taking his warm up tosses for the Pirates. Brandon Nimmo leads off against Mitch Keller and Nimmo hits one right back to the mound and Keller plays that for the first out of the night. One up one down Starling Marte the former Pirate will be the better Keller deals inside he hit him in the hand it appears. Starling Marte has been hit by a pitch for the 19th time this year and an angry Buck Showalter immediately heads to the top step of the dugout. I'm okay he says. And now Francisco Lindor will be the batter. That's lined over the glove of Cruz and into center field a base hit. Takes a pretty high liner to get it over the 6 7 Cruz. And Lindor hit it just tall enough. And the Mets have runners at first and second. One out now, and Pete Alonso coming up. Hit on the ground. They're going to go around the horn. Double play. Mitch Keller gets the double play ball. Newman turns it. And they get Alonso and the Mets out in the first. Now, Taiwan Walker makes his 24th start of the year. He's 10 and 3. His earned run average, though, is up to 3.45. O'Neill Cruz hitting 204, 12 home runs, 37 runs batted in. There's a base hit there on a 2 0 fastball. Looking for it, getting it, and putting wood on it. One and two now the pitch. Swinging a bouncing ball to the right side. Lindor up with it. His play will be to first in time to Alonzo for the out on Reynolds. He's talking to uh, Lindor. Lindor is waving a pirate trainer out. I'm wondering it if he like, bit his lip or something. Oh. Oh, it was the helmet. After it hit the ground, he was sliding head first. The helmet hit the ground and bounced back up and hit him right in the face. Here's the one two. Swung on and missed strike three. Castro waves at a breaking ball. First strikeout for Walker. Two men away. Well, here's Ben Gamble, left hand batter in the first pitch, hit in the air to straightaway center. Nimmo broke back, has time to move in, makes the one hand catch, and that retires the side. So one man out. Daniel Vogelback will be the batter. There's ball four, and Vogelback draws a one out walk. Strikes him out on a foul tip. Went upstairs. Two out, top second. Vogelback, the runner at first. And Eduardo Escobar coming around with a bat now. The 2 0 chopped foul off the fist, a foot of Escobar. Now he's hopping around with a count two balls and two strikes, and he's bent over, hands on knees. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner to left field, slicing towards the line. Sawinski over, can't reach it. It's a base hit. Vogelback has to stop at second. Sawinski fires it in, but Escobar hits it hard the other way for a two out single. So he's now hitting four straight, and he's hitting from the left side as well, which is really encouraging. Weak pop up. Out to short right, Gamble with time to get underneath it. He's got it. And that wraps up the Mets' second inning. Marte is out of the game, and Tyler Naquin replaces him in right field. So Hayes is out, one down, and Kevin Newman in there. This is chopped toward third, deep third. Escobar has it. Throw in the dirt. Safe call at first base. Infield hit for Newman. He's aboard for Jack Sawinski. He loves hitting here, and even that right there, just rolling it past McNeil. Newman able to get all the way to third with one out. Now Michael Chavis infield sets up for a double play ball and a fly ball to right center field Nimmo going to set up for a throw Newman's going to tag here comes the throw very high and a sacrifice fly for Chavis gives the Pirates a one nothing lead 3 2 runner goes Lindor takes low ball four so here's a chance for Alonzo the Mets with runners in scoring position over the last 12 games have hit just 173 Here's the pitch. Ground ball, shortstop, Cruz tosses to second one, on to first, double play. Just like the first, Keller gets the ground ball from the Polar Bear in the third. And after two and a half, Pirates won, Mets nothing. One out, Brian Reynolds at first base. Right. Castro just 23. He's been up, what, let's see, just under a month now. Hard to get out. One ball, two strike pitch. High fly ball to right. Over toward the foul pole. Is it fair or foul? Hits the foul pole for a home run. Rodolfo Castro, a high towering drive, clears the deck with a foul pole cannonball, and it's three to nothing Pirates. Two outs. Mark Canna will bat. He struck out his first time. Nice. That's lined to the right center, and this time Canna's got a base hit. Reynolds comes over to field it, and Canna will stop at first with a two out single. Two out base hit. Wardo Escobar will bat. And gets a weak pop up. 97. And the shortstop's ball. Two out hit left on for the Mets. Pirates still hitting. Three to nothing. And so now with two out, here is an RBI chance for Francisco Lindor. 2 2. 
In the air to left center field, over is Reynolds, and he makes the catch, and so that will be ideal for Mitch Keller. Cruz one for two, first at bat, singled sharply into right. And a shot down the line. That's a fair ball. <laughs> There's no comparing O'Neill Cruz. <laughs> He's one of a kind and he's two out of three tonight. He's starting to get a hold of it now. This is getting to be real interesting. He's at second base with one out. Now Brian Reynolds grounded out and walked. And this ball lined to right field, a base hit. Rebello going to wave home Cruz. Here comes the throw. It's cut off at second. Cruz will go in head first. And it's an RBI single for Reynolds and a 4-0 Pirates lead in the fifth. Here's the 2-2. Swung on and missed strike three. There's another one. But for Walker, only the third that he's punched out tonight. Now the pitch. Line towards first, caught by Alonzo. Side retired. A sizzler off the bat of Gamel. And Alonzo made a stab to his left. The new pitcher for the Pirates after Mitch Keller goes six shutout innings is Robert Stevenson. Two out base hit to give Brandon Nimmo a chance. Swing and a drive, right center field. This ball is hammered into the night, and it is gone. Home run, Brandon Nimmo. A line drive rocket that shot straight out to right center field. And the Mets have cut the Pirate lead in half. It is now 4-2 Pittsburgh. Gamble left-handed batter. Two outs, Reynolds at second base. Swing and a bouncer down the first baseline. Alonzo with a diving stop. From his knees, flips to first. Out at first is Gamble to win the inning. Alonzo saves a run. A diving stop down the first baseline. Popped up to his knees with an underhand flip to Montes Dioka covering. So, second and third. Now you've got the number eight hitter, Chavis, who's 0 for his last 12, although he does have a sacrifice fly in this game. 1 2. In the dirt. Oh, and here comes the runner for the plate, and he will score with a heads up job there by Hayes. The ball was blocked, and it went in front of the dirt circle. 2 2 pitch. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did on appeal to first. Corey Blazer says strike three. A big run to score to make it five to two, and now here's DeLay. And in there for a base hit. Jason DeLay comes up with another hit, and it's a 6-2 lead. O'Neill Cruz is at the plate two for four. High drive to right field. Watch this Cruz missile out of here. Oh, headed toward the river. Line drive, O'Neill Cruz. Headed toward the Allegheny. That's number 13, 8-2 Pirates. He is something special. After getting the first two batters, he's walked two in a row. And then we go to Nimmo atop the Mets batting order. And he swings and it's the first pitch on the ground to Cruz. He'll get it to second for the force. And the Pirates have taken the opening game of this series. The Mets have lost three in a row, all to last place teams and scored just four runs in the three games. And so the Atlanta Braves tonight in Oakland will have a chance to tie for the National League East lead if they can win the opening game of their series with the Athletics.